Hey everyone, today we had another fantastic stream. We only lost one match, so we basically are now, when we combine both days, at something like a 95% win rate with Iced. And so today I will show you two more Iced matches. This time, where Geralt Jirden played a big role and how you can use Jirden, especially defensively, to really roll with this Ice deck. So enjoy. That. Well, let me show you. And that is my beer mark. That's a German beer mark. Basically, Germans drink beer from this, like in this size. But since I can't drink beer uh, on the afternoon, I filled with water so I don't need to go all the way back and forth all the time. We are blue. That's bullshit. So, this is not a good thing. Darn is good, so we can get rid of Ceres. This is good. We can put something to rest in there. We have backers. Oh, this is pushwise. This is enormous. Okay. The thing is, he is Osral. Probably. So. He may eat my Ceres. But if he Osral's my Ceres. He can Osral my Veterans, though. This would be not nice. And he can Osral my, Osral my Yuta. So I need to get my Yuta out of, out of my graveyard immediately. So Osral is my. Big nemesis in this game. Um, if we get a Skjald into the graveyard, I mean, we have one Skjald here. We have a Marauder in hand, yeah, we probably get just a Marauder out, right? Or do we actually get something to rest here? Let's get this Kjald in there. Let's 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 try something. New. Let's try something new because by getting Skjald into there, I can actually actively push here, like really push. Okay. Sure. I I don't care too much. I Skjald immediately, right? Like there's no reason why not. Do we get the Marauder into the grave here? Because I have like another Marauder anyway. And I can't play Marauder this round. I probably should discard veterans to Ah, do we keep it or not? Questions over questions. Cross the wide somber sea. I keep I it. Will okay. Nice. And you know, guys, why I keep it? Because it just made a random decision. This is nothing like... I think both both strategies have a good idea, uh, are valid. Hey, Etor, thanks as you for joining this one. Thank you very much. Sure, trigger your death wish abilities. If I back a this, it gets up to 8. The more he kills, the more I can use Marauder probably at some point. I think it's just Res and Marauder and then get rid of the uh, Res and Skjald and get rid of this one as well. Yeah, there we go. Actually, let's play in here. Don't you pester me. Uh, where is it? There is it. And Burner. This is a discard. Discard wise, this is pretty good. Okay, so the question here is... We are not going down two cards. Is there a way that monsters can deal with my cards? I don't think so. Seven cards ahead. The thing is, I don't want to push that hard, but like, Yuta, I want to get under the graveyard anyway. Burner, I want to get... I want to play as well. Let's play Burner. Stand before the Queen of Skellige. Yeah, that's basically what I'm going to discard. <laughs> the rest is cool. Let's not get in the way of me, so that's pretty decent. 14 points. Question is, can I out-tempo him that much? I probably will because of Yuta as well. So he death wish, sure.
I mean, I need to play it right. Like, I need to set up the graveyard anyway. So. So, no one else dares Why not play her? Me? He can still do it in one card. If we, so I back her and this is it. So this is pretty good. The question is now, do we pass? It really depends. Okay, he passes for me. Again, the question. Do we push against that fish? Yes or no? He pr he doesn't probably he doesn't play the elder guy, so otherwise he wouldn't play Anson Elder. Problem is that he can trigger his death wish with every turn. And if I don't play now, he will Austrian my He will Austrian my Yuta for sure. But if he Austrians my Yuta now, I'm fine as well. We can also move to the next round. But can I rest here? There's a Marauder in there. I could play this. Heliot, Unicorn, get out of the round. But he will just use Anton Elder in a long round against Deathwish. It's problematic if he goes like GLs on me. Manticore I don't care about. Manticore is like he kills my bears. It's fine for me. Should we risk a long round here? I'd push, you can do it. Well, if you say so. <laughs> if you say so, then let's do it. I actually, currently, I feel really unsafe all the time going into run free without pushing. Which there is the answer now, So the thing is, do we kill the Harpy Egg? It will be tempo for him, but he will play like like his death unit all the time anyway. Now nah, we don't kill his egg for him, right? Just don't. Do we get Yuta out in this round? Yeah, we talked about this. Show people why it's important. And the thing is, I don't know if it's that important in this in this scenario. I'm thinking. What I'm thinking currently is if I should use Ice or not. I mean, if he would have, if he would have Austral, he would already. Um, oh, he's playing Griffin. Look at this. Well, I mean, that's a unicorn. Uh, uh, next time. I should have played it here because I may want to use this as. Jürgen. He uses create, okay. I need to rest something for the service value. <laughs> he renewed Roach, sure. No, he played. Oh, Roach got out there. I thought he renewed Roach. I was like, what? But he doesn't have. Well, he can. Okay, he can rest any unit. Never mind me. So it's going for temper here. <laughs> what to res? I could res another veteran here. And then I could still Yuta and keep Unicorn for next round. Oh, Ceres is not. Uh, where's Ceres? So I could really push here, but then I use my Iced. So I'm not sure if like pushing this round was that smart because he gets another lead ability. Typically you don't push against Antonella because of well, his free lead ability. Five. This is the maximum we can banish. Do we use this already, or do we just... We're getting Yuta up now, right? Ah! 
I don't like playing this in one two. I mean, this will be amazing points. Guys, look at this. Not your lucky day. But that was a pretty good combo. I mean, now I can I could just play it out, right? Like, why should I waste like? If you get sick tree for next round, I still have like a pretty good top deck. He has no death issue, it's like it would be good for me to push, I guess. Who wants to taste Skellige steel? Let's go, let's just Let's just play this out, I guess. Like Unicorn is also strong. This could be a potential 2 zero. it depends what he has. Because maybe he withholds something. Okay. Let's see if you can make the points. But I think we're fine. And worst case, we have a strong top deck. Oh, that was good. That's a draw, it's a draw. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which kills the low units. That was amazing. The North shall tuck tail and beg for I have the red again. We are playing a lot of Emir today. Yes! We have Burn and Stunning Head. That is amazing. Chernex, amazing. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure about this, but oh, it's fine. This could set up a graveyard. I don't need Secretary for here. Ha! <laughs> wow. Really? Well, now I need to pull through. Okay. We don't have a res in round one, so the question is what we do with Burner if we get her into the graveyard or not. So he's playing Enforcers. We don't have Becker's Mirror, it would be amazing. We can just use Unicorn, but we, could st we still wouldn't be able to kill it. There's just no way to, like, do anything with it. We just unicorn just for the value, and worst case, we didn't just play bears if it doesn't like. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get the value. So basically, we went red and we already got back the value. We're already ahead. Yep, you win this handed business. Yeah, the hand was amazing, really. So, okay, so he got basically the tick off. He got the slave inventory. That was pretty good. I, sh I, I shouldn't do this. Like, I always, like, hit stuff with Nilfgaard to one point. Like, at home, you guys at home, don't expect a slave inventory. This also means, like, the bears are probably not that useful. Marauder! Oh, there's... Okay, that's good, because that means we can actually... Rest something. So the question is, if we don't have anything in the graveyard, we can't get anything into the graveyard this round. So we want to have this for the next round. I think we go more quick, right? Just for tempo. Oh, we keep Ceres actually. We don't need it because we can't get it out anyway. So let's do this. Just for the tempo's sake. Because now we're four points ahead. Ceres wouldn't give me any tempo this round at all. And we can still get her onto the grave yet somehow. Somehow. I don't know how yet, but we will. We will for sure. I have two bears, which are kind of like, hmm. A totally useless Marauder in this round at least. We have still the Unicorn, so that's Back good. In line. Okay. It's too, it's too early to pass. It is too early. So let's set up the grave. We could just leave Ceres, but then he locks it, so that's bullshit. Um, let's play bears, I guess. This way we at least uh, don't give him slave trial targets. That's something, I guess. This will be quick and painful. Hey, thanks, Biscuits B. Appreciate it for the follow. This is 
Okay, sure. So he has a lot of fin, he has a lot of tempo now. We could keep up with the unicorn. Kinda. But after that we are out, so we can also think of keeping the unicorn. Marauder has now a bigger chance like to hit his units than mine, but still <laughs> still nothing I wanna risk. Don't think you wanna I don't think we win this round to be honest. So it's just set up the graveyard, I guess. And when I say set up the graveyard, I mean that chance. Seen it all already. And then some. You can always make it if he passes. So as long as we stay in, the, in that, that's fine. So he dumps stuff as well now. Twenty-sixth, we could still do it with such bear. Doesn't matter. And then we probably play one more card and then pass, because there's just no way that we. And I'm really, I really don't want to play Ceres here. If he drive passes round two, we can play Ceres as a killer. So actually we're stuck here because we can't play, right? If you play Ceres, this is basically four, eight. Wait. This is eight. So actually we're exactly at 31, which we can't do. I can't risk this, I can't risk anything, I need to pass him. Ceres if he passes? Yeah, that would be an option. I guess I would play Ceres now and then too. Still Marauder is like... You don't need it at all. There is Beckers. There's not really much in my graveyard. There's only like the Veteran. I don't want a mulligan already, or do we? No. Those are useless if he doesn't play in the front row. If he pushes round two, I'm, I'm dead. Ah, thanks. Oh, whew. If he would have pushed here, that would be really a problem. Stop this way, at least he can get Sarah's out. So the question is what we do for Marauder because I really don't need Marauder now. I don't have seen Yuta. All my good cards are here. Look at this. There's my three best good cards. Darren is okay because I can get some of the good cards into the graveyard. Do we get rid of Marauder here? Oh, Yuta, there you are. Perfect. And we have backers. Okay, so we can get this onto the graveyard, which is good. The question is we do we draw two skills. People should push more often, definitely. Like people, if it, people push it on two, they would win more, way more. One, two, three, and then we have two skulls, and it's a pretty high chance that we draw this. If we draw a skirmish, we have a problem there. But we need to take risks. Life is all about taking risks. So let's do this. Well, let's take risks. I need Yirden would be the move. Don't get away! He probably, he probably gets away from Ceres, I guess. So he gets, like, Ceres is... Well, that, that has to be expected. At least they got two veterans, which is still good. What do I discard here? I can still get him Spare Maiden. I can res one of the veterans. Cross the wide, sober I guess this is I the choice, see. right? Yerden! <laughs> it's all I wanted for Christmas. Okay, this is where we need Yalma. Or a bear. Or a bear. Bye bye, engine. You won't see the light of the day. That was not in the spell books. So, okay, no more marking divisions. And then we get rid of another spare maiden. Oh wait, what would we? Oh, we actually seek another veteran. 
They actually have too many reses in this case. We probably would res another bear there at some point. Maybe a spare maybe. Don't you pester me. Yalma, okay. Well then. This could have been dangerous actually. But this is like perfect. So the question is how do we sequence this? We wanna get we wanna kill this, I guess. So we wanna Yalma this. So we get rid of one of the spear maidens. Or we just get rid of the unicorn. A thousand thunder and there's my I don't want him to have him uh, want to have engines on the side. So we just get rid of them as early as possible. Oops. No one in some skimpy going. And that is pretty amazing by the way. Because that that way we have even more targets for Geralt. I don't know what to back at though. Because if I reset my U-turn. <laughs> well at this point we just raise one of the veterans, I guess. We can still play Yuta here. So are all the I don't think we get another backer tar target. It would, it would be amazing if we get a backer target on, on his side. Yeah, we just rest the veteran, I guess. Wait, what do we ice then? We ice like a spear mate because we can reset this as well. That's fine. Everything is fine and in order. Slow stack in fortune. Okay, so let's see. Um, I think we play you to here then. Well, let's. Well, now we can actually raise a veteran, which is even better. I like. So let's see if it will survive or not. Other than the series play, this is a good escape playthrough of how the deck works. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like, round one was still not optimal. And, like, this was risky as hell. So he kills me, I guess. <laughs> That's not a good spotter. So, for me, the question is now. We have Geralt here, do we... Do we Geralt now? And then we play Yuta Becker as a finisher? Can he eat my Yuta? And worst case we have a veteran in there. Do we think he'll buff something? I, I don't trust him, like I wanna have um I wanna have Yuri for the last round. Wait, it is already no it's not the last round, it's perfect. Let's see. I mean now he probably kills off my units, like I think it should have been smarter to play this before. Did he just kill a two-point bear? Oh, this is easy now. Not your lucky day. And now the question. 14 points, how? Huh. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Subscribe if you want to see more Quent content, especially my end of Quent guides going live on weekends. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page where you can support this channel and get cool rewards in the process. My Twitch times are Monday to Thursday starting at 2 CET. See you on stream.